this is Richard, this is Games Freezer, and today my friends we're going to be playing another game, it's called Seed of Life, and we are doing our long running series, our 10 minute taster series today, which means that I've never played the game before, and it'll give you an opportunity to see my first impressions of the game as I play it for the first time. Right, so let's get stuck in, Seed of Life on the PC. Uh, story, normal or hard? Um, let's go with story for the benefit of the 10 minute taster as hopefully I can take it forward rather than getting stuck at a hard bit. Lumium, it maintains balance and holds the universe together. Right, good to know. It has the power to build worlds and to destroy them. Around it, there will always be life in all of its complexity. Our beloved world, Lumia, is nearing its destruction. Hang on, this is a uh, interesting tale, as I think I've played a game yesterday. It's exactly the same storyline. It needs Lumium. The seed is our only chance. Our sun is dying, and soon Lumia will fall into darkness. The last spark of life will be forever lost. I was a baby when it happened. A wee baby laddie! The world's been dead ever since I can remember. Maybe a bit greener when I was younger. And some flowers. I love flowers. We all love flowers, let's face it. My grandfather tells me stories. They always sound like a dream. I wish I could be in that dream. But they came. And they took everything. Why? What did we do to deserve this? We call them Namorians. And they brought chaos and death into our world. Now... We slowly die, without hope, without a future. <sighs> this can't be the end. I will not fall into darkness and wait for everything to disappear. There must be a way. We have to escape somehow. That's the spirit. We live in this small house. It's the only home I've ever known. Grandpa doesn't tell me things. He believes I'm too young. But I saw it. The seed exists. Only it can bring back life and make the world flow once again. I sit here every day. I can't watch these candles burn anymore. Their flames get smaller, and so does my soul. I need to find the seed. I need to go. Be interesting to see um, what the graphical style is like on this. Because I haven't seen many screenshots of it, if I'm honest. So um, that'll be good to see but then I also like the kind of um, I need to find out where the seed is located the atmosphere when that I'm seeing little, so far grandpa took me to see it we were far away and I only remember a vague silhouette surrounded by lots of water one more book to read at least something to help me remember hmm this one talks about some kind of ancient race that used to harvest Lumium, the source of all life. Grandpa was obsessed with this kind of thing. Wait, what's this? Some kind of note? The seed is empty and it needs a vessel of light. I need to go there and rekindle it if Lumia is to survive. I had no choice. There is no more time. And Cora, my beloved granddaughter, if I don't see you again, 
Know that I'm doing this for you and Lumia. I love you with all my heart. Grandpa wants to reignite the seed? No. There has to be another way. I have to find it. And we're off. <clears throat> okay, third person. Um, interact. Okay, easy enough, easy enough. I like the artwork in this um, house. It seems pretty cool. Right, what we've got over here? Grandpa must have left me this book to help me understand Lumia better. I've never seen it before. Seems like it has detailed information about the seed and Lumion plants. I remember Oren telling me how the plants are able to absorb Lumion from the ground and store it. I wish I had more time to read it. I often saw Grandpa use this strange object to maintain the alien technology around the house. I'll take it with me, just in case. Oh, and there's the key. Okay, I'm ready to leave the house now. Are you ready? Are you ready to leave? Yes, I am. Alright, is that out? I'm going to have a little look around as well. What's this? This used to be my favorite spot when I was younger. Grandpa told me so many stories and taught me so much over the years. I really miss those days. I'm not hungry now. And I need to reach the seed as soon as possible. Tap tap. Okay, right. So, have I seen everything? Let me just go in my room a sec. See if I've missed anything out here. Don't think I have. I can crouch with X. Um, let's try this back door. Can't go oh. there. Here we go. Reach the checkpoint. Oh. The sun is weakening and every day it's getting darker. I shouldn't waste too much time around the house. There isn't much to see on this side of the river, apart from the nearby pedestal. If I want to reach the seed, I must cross the river. Cross the river, eh? Cool, so I'm going to do the opposite. Um, just have a little look around. Oh, look, there's an upstairs. Tap, tap. Can't get in there. Although there is a little thingy. This object on the wall seems to hold a pedal. What if huh, the object is reacting? I can take it. I tried so many times to do this. The shield has weakened, but it's still holding. There must be another pedal nearby. Right, so... Uh, what's that? Oh, that was small writing. I couldn't really see that, but... Is it LB? Dark, maybe? Oh, look, glossary. Petal. Petals are small alien devices used as activators. Throughout the world, they can be found already inserted into most of the pedestal sockets or into unique activators that keep their shields active. Inserting enough petals into a pedestal up to the maximum number of eight will allow the pedestal to unlock a unique ability capsule. Removing a petal from some unique wall supports will disable the shield located in its vicinity. If you find a shield, the petal keeping it active is always nearby. Right, okay. So what do I need to do? Find another one. 
Have a little look about. Um, no jump button. Oh, so it's jump is B. I was pressing A. Wow. Even with all the darkness, this view never ceased to amaze me. As Grandpa always said, beauty can be broken, but it cannot be forgotten. Bruce say, right, so I'm looking for one of these purple thingies. Uh, I went up here first time, so should I go back to where I was? Ugh. What's with the shaky screen? Ooh, don't you break my heart, my shaky breaky. Oh. This pedestal is the last beacon of light in this area. Without it, we wouldn't this have survived for so long. This pedestal is the last beacon of light in this area. Still has this is weird. It, I've got we have double survived. um double voiceover, and then it just cut out. Right, checkpoint reached. Oh look, there's another petal there. Is it not? Petaluma. There we go. The shield is gone. Happy days. Okay, right. So what do I do now? Go back to where I was. I'm back to watching. No, take everything real slow. I wanna lose you, but I can't let go. I don't know where I'm going here. I used to come here often, looking across the huge canyon and wondering what's on the other side. These strange platforms seem to reach it, but I'm unable to use them. Hmm. Maybe I'm missing Maybe you something. are. Okay, let's go back the way I came. Is there a run? Crouch, let's jump. No run. Kind of half runs anyway, doesn't she? This doing. Oh, let's have a sit down. <sighs> we used to gather water from this part of the river. Well, at least before the corruption started to pollute everything. Now the water is poisonous. I wonder if there's a reason I can react, um, interact with everything. The water is so cold. I should get out fast. Oh. Sorry. Cold, cold water. Um. Okay, so let's head back this way. The water is corrupted. If I try to go in, I'll be dead in no time. I need to find another way to cross the river. It was a bit harsh that I was, uh... Alright, oh, that you get an achievement for... Lighting the lights. Yeah, it's a bit harsh that I end up with... Losing, um... Life, just between putting me toe in the water oh well hopefully it will kind of regenerate I'm not sure that it will if I'm honest way was the barrier this way was it seems like the road is clear from now on I need to be careful and watch my surroundings this my friend is true give me some more life
There's my house down there. Lamp lighter. Shout out to my lamps. Oh, hello. The Morian ships in the sky. Incoming. It looks like they're leaving. The last ship I saw left years ago. Something must have happened. That one is passing really close. Guy. Something happened. I think a small drone was released from it. I better go and investigate. I hope it's not dangerous. It will be. Creepy creep creep. We must creep around. down here and if I've got a map no inventory no checkpoint me up but a cup right what's this Another all about pedestal. To activate it, I have to align the circles and Cross insert the missing petals. petals. Wait a <clears throat> minute. Yo, not come at is safe. Glad not time. What was that? The pedestal is trying to tell me something. Go on the pedestal. I think he's trying to say don't do it. I think he's also trying to say, can I get some life back, please? I only put my toe in the water. It'll wander around it. Wanderlei Luxembourg. Down there. El Bridgeo, use that. Can you give me some la Oh, what's going on? It's burning so bad. Oh. Well, that was weird. I didn't I didn't expect that if I'm honest. Okay, let's try again. I don't even know what killed me if I know it was the darkness, but I didn't even see that there was any darkness there. Or what is dark oh this I'm not allowed to cross the river. Ah, uh, maybe if I do that, it gets rid of it, right? I think that as well. Was that what killed me? I'm not so sure I should be on this side. Right, okay. So, explore landing site. I don't even know where it landed, if I'm honest. Was it that over there? Maybe up here, because there was a pathway, wasn't there? It sort of took me up. Can kind I of Skyrim climb? No. Maybe if I just head up this way. Oh.
not really sure where it wants me to go, if I'm honest. Oh, there we go. You can Skyrim climb. Right, okay. Doesn't feel like the most elegant solution. Plus, I don't think I'm actually meant to go this way by the looks of it. Can't see anything there. Am I missing something here? Floor. So I think I need something where it tells me exactly what it wants me to do. I know it says explore the landing site. What? What does that mean? Okay, right. Don't think I'm ready for that because I don't think I've got any of those yet. So I've come in this way, didn't I? And I'd look at that bridge down there. Is there any way that I can. I well, can't go down there because the water's there. It's probably something very obvious that I'm not doing, isn't there? Crouch to get past this. Surely I can. Okay, I'm not really sure what it wants me to do then. I'm... There's not that much to explore, and yet it seems to. Uh... Seems to have run out of places that it will let me go. Explore the landing site. Okay, well, I can do this one. I don't think I've done this one. <clears throat> Should give you back a bit of um, energy or life when you tap those lights. Maybe it is something to do with the um, podium that I need to do. Doesn't feel like I'm ready to do that yet, but let's have another go. Right, so change up, change down. Hello. <laughs> that was proper random. I didn't. Aligning the circles to form the correct symbols seemed to activate the pedestal. Now right. Okay. Now it's able to heal, and the darkness from this area is gone. Ah, right. I read you. Then it healed me as well, right? I knew these petals would come in handy. There are a few more missing from the pedestal. I have to insert them all. Gotta catch them all. All the petals have been placed. Something happened. It generated a strange effect in the center. Wow. It looks mesmerizing. But I can't take it. I wonder what it's used for. I need some sort of device to interact with this. Okie dokie. Right, cross the bridge. I thought my, um, I thought the darkness had gone now. I'd Unlock that. Oh, it's gone from there, this right? Okay. Oh, 
I got chills and like multiplying. And Lumi is losing control. No, I need to stay focused and positive. I can change things. I have to. For Grandpa and for Lumia. Go, Grandpa. Go, Grandpa. Go. What is that? What is that? It's all kicking off here, isn't it? Uh, what the hey? Wow. One hit killer. Right, I'm assuming I have to creep around those. Do with a run button. I'm not going to tap the uh, lights because I've done that a million times now. Right. So. Can't go that way yet. Can only go down this way. So those dudes there, they've got like a little ring and I think if you go inside that then they'll attack you and one hit kill you. Okay, that is what we've learnt. Right. Get round the edge, I don't even know if I even have to creep if I'm honest. Oop. More a case of just avoid. Do have a run button. Oh, is there a way around there? Oh. Oh, you... Why I order? Should be a way of fighting back, surely. Don't call me Shirley. Okay, right. I'm gonna give it one more go. Come on, you can do it. Put you back into it. Right, down the valley of darkness, down this little bit here, wait for those gumbos, maybe I can sort of follow them around, maybe I can go around this way. Anything up here? Doesn't look like it. Oh. Yeah, right, okay, I'm gonna get around that bit. Nothing there. They kinda of go clockwise, don't they? So I should be able to make I've it over here. What's going on here? What's like going on this? here, eh? Maybe it's a trap. What should I do? Interact with A. That's what you should do. You found it. I was a prey. I sent it too far. Who? Who are you? What do you want with me? My name is Nar, and I tried to speak to you earlier at the pedestal. The device inside the drum is attracted by your essence. You, you speak my language? I do. You speak of my language? I knew it. You're a Sandy. You destroyed our world and left us with nothing. You will pay for what you did here. We did not plan to harm your world, but we had no choice. There's always a choice. There is much you do not know, but now is not the time. Something about you activated the talisman. What do you mean? My Lumium is running low. Touch the device in the center. Contact you again soon enough. 
Just one last thing. I need to know your name. My name is Cora. And say your name, say your name. There is not enough time to explain. He disappeared. Should I really touch this thing? Can't touch this. Can't touch this. Can touch this. Massive fly in here. Get out. There you go. Right, massive fly gone. Danger over. Right, you found the talisman. You now have the ability to equip capsules and see stats and objectives. Press L2 to activate stats. Okay, so I'm not really sure what that means. Is that just telling me what fits perfectly. my status is? Like it was made for me. I can't explain it, but I feel stronger. Maybe this alien artifact can help me yes. succeed. I hope, at least. There have been some odd things happening since Orin left. Not really sure where I've got to go now. Um, I'll go this away, or do I just go back where I come from? Because that pedestal wasn't allowing me to interact with it, was it? So let's just try again. No, it doesn't really want to do anything. I'm not sure what I'd do with this, if I'm honest. Oh, look, I can... No, that's just me moving the camera, right? Dunno. Like I say, I don't... No, there we go. Good jumping, good jumping. And we're off to the letter down here. Cora, I'm gonna go back the way I came just to see if there was a. I remember. Any idea what it does? Yeah. Just interact with it, and the talisman will do the rest. Once collected, use it in this area. It will help you reach the gate hidden behind these rocks. Will do. Thanks for the help. Ah. Cheers. Open the gate inside the forest. Find the vision capsule. Okie dokie, we go back. I think we have to go back to this thingy over here. And do the thingy with a thingy to make the thingy go thingy. Right. Now it makes sense. Time to interact, interact when no one is around you. Interact. You equipped a vision capsule. You now have the ability to scan for other points of interest located in the world. It can also be used to reveal hidden objects. Ooh, tatutsa. Right. Okay, okay, okay. So what am I doing now then? Ooh. Does that mean there's something... The gate inside the forest. Simpson, eh? What does it mean when there's... Oh, okay, look. Oh. oh, does that mean I can't use it again? Why, you little... 
maybe if I interact again no is that my one and only chance oh right it's like a cooldown yeah we saying that's a cooldown uh, okay right what was it here we go oh it's that yellow thing he wants it right did that bit oh how am I gonna get across there Lumium, Lumium, when no one is around you, do you deplete Lumi Lumium? Oh, it's not a cooldown, it's a go in here, get some more Lumium out of the what's it, and then go back to where I was. Right, so what about this bit? There's kind of a gap there. So I wonder, I wonder how I keep from going under. Oh, there is like a bridge across that bit. So if I go down here, across there, I don't want to interact with that. I want to go up here. I think it created a bridge. Took me to the bridge. Was it this side or that side? Oh look, that's Andy. That's proper Andy, isn't it? Ooh, what's going on here? There's something about this game that I like. There's a lot of things in my head saying that I shouldn't like it. Because it feels ever so slightly janky, but I don't know, I think I like it. Especially kind of like the way you get to sort of explore these little areas. It looks as though they're kind of um, sort of loaded in each, no each area you're going to. Going to. But I like Grandpa that kind of, I ain't got a clue what to do, it work it out yourself kind of attitude. I have to follow it. Take me to the seed. Right, I think I'm going to call a halt to the uh, 10 minute taster. That should give you enough to sort of see what the game is initially like. This first sort of half hour of gameplay. Um, like I say, it feels kind of janky, but I kind of like I like the jankness, if I'm honest. Where's that come from? Ooh, look at this. Secret area, I think. The Lumium pool has increased. Look for bright glowing plants. They will increase the tal talisman's Lumium pool when extracted for the first time. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I think I like it. I'm surprised it's grown on me that throughout this um, 10 minute taster. And I like the fact that I've just found a nice little hidden area to finish off with as well, which is always good. Anyway, hopefully, ooh, where am I now? Hopefully you've enjoyed the video as much as I've enjoyed making it um, press like on our uh, on the video to make sure that it helps the channel it definitely helps the channel um, by enabling us to get more games into the games freezer to take a look at if you press like there's also um, the nice act of subscribing to our YouTube channel as well which will help us again get more games into the uh, games freezer I'm just looking for hidden thingies now can't see any um, also we're over on Twitter and Instagram um, we are at games freezer uh, we are also um, over at www.gamesfreezer.co.uk and that's where we put all our reviews, uh, indie game reviews, and we uh, re do retro gaming articles. 
and Britt does a, a lot of uh, video game vinyl reviews as well over at www.gamesfreezer.co.uk so plenty of stuff for you to take a look at on on our channel and on our website and on our Twitter and on our Instagram and everywhere else where we are hopefully you've enjoyed the video until next time my friends it's goodbye